So I've been having quite a bit of fun with my uh, new DC turned AC uh, flyback. Um, so I just want to show you a couple of cool experiments. And I'm sure many of you have seen these before, but uh, uh, they're quite interesting nevertheless. Uh, first off, um, since it's now AC, it's marginally more acceptable to actually touching the arc. DC arc would feel horrible running on a 555 timer if you touched it, but AC arc, as long as you're not touching both ends of the coil, all it will give you are contact burns. So I'll just show you. So the uh, flyback is running at 25 volts now, uh, AC. So, I mean, this would be really crappy if, if it was a DC flyback, but... I'm still alive. Um, it tingles, and if you see my finger slightly black now. So it is burning off the top layer of skin, um, which, is, uh, which isn't uh, particularly good, but um, it's definitely not as dangerous as a DC flyback would be. Here's an AC flyback plasma globe, a little neater than uh, what I made yesterday. Um, made out of a light bulb and the arcs inside gets much more intense when you touch it. It's a little better with the lights on. Kind of a cool, cool thing. Here are some ghostly effects of AC flybacks. CFL light bulb. Could wirelessly light up my work area. No need for wires. Do what I need. Oh, miss something here. Okay. There you go. Completely wireless. If you ever have a bright idea that needs acknowledgement, you could just go, uh, idea. Wireless light. Yes, I really just did that. How about a lightsaber? light up the whole room. And yes, I'm still alive. Anyway. Pretty neat little trick, huh? Anyway, hope you enjoyed.